Hey, what's up, Rockflock? This is the Master Gamer, Rockhawk64, welcoming you back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And if you remember in our last episode, we were tasked to go assist the Great Deku Tree, and we had to go get a sword and shield. And I forgot to mention something. Jumping! Just walk it straight out of ledge, and you'll automatically jump. So we've got our sword and our shield, so now we can go past. So let's talk to Mido. If you want to see the... How did I forget Mido's voice? If you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield! Eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield. And Mido's apparently Scottish now. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri Sword? Good grief! Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the Great Deku Tree? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that is one thing. Some people pronounce it Saria, other people pronounce it Saria. Um. So now we have our first enemies. Those were Deku Babas. They're kind of dried up, and when you beat them, you get a Deku Stick. So we can set it to our C button and swing it. And so we stand still, press A, we can carry up to 10. Kind of useful because they pretty much make for makeshift torches just as long as you put them away fast enough. So we're gonna go ahead and set them. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Brutus, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. How did you know? <laughs> Fucking creeper. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Brutus, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? The fucking hero of time, of course I do. Then enter, brave Brutus, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Brutus. And Brutus, when Navi speaks, use up C to listen well to her words of wisdom. The fuck? I think the Great Deku Tree is going a little bit senile. So what the fuck is an up C? Okay, you're not what I want. Yeah, you can get a couple more Deku Sticks. Actually, one or two more might not be that bad, but they do sell them in the shop. So there's one to each side, I'm just gonna get the one, but there is another one over there if you wanna get it. Over there, on the other side of that route. So let's enter, guys. The first dungeon. Inside the Deku Tree. Where Navi will be the most annoying person. So you can see the layout is definitely a little bit different than it was in the original. You're one of the ones I was looking for. Well, not really. Oh, here's another cool trick. If you're not zoomed on anything and you defend and press the B, Link will, like, stab his sword. Useful. Dead useful. 
Oh, and Navi was just going to tell you about, hey, climbable surface, and hey, look at the web. Can we break the web? Something the Zelda games have do very well um, is definitely puzzles. And there's a keys, our second enemy of the game. Just a bat, it flies at you. Very basic. Except it hit me. Recovery hearts. Cut the grass, you can find rupees and recovery hearts. Oh, go below, go below egg! Look at this wall! The vine's growing on it, give it a rough surface! Maybe you can climb it, Brutus! Oh god. I'm not gonna deal with that Goma larva. Hey, big chest! I wonder what's... Oh god. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. Lock onto something? Damn it. And then press A, and you'll do a jump attack that's twice as strong as a standard attack. So first let's open this chest. And we... We got a map! And, yeah. Press start. And if we go to the map subscreen, it would normally be the map of Hyrule, it's actually the map of our dungeon. Uh, glowing rooms are rooms we've been to, empty rooms are rooms we haven't. Well, it also shows our current location on all the floors for some odd reason. Oh, and this one is because it's all the same area. And underneath that box, you can ram into it if you want, but as you can see, you don't have to. <clears throat> it's the first of the 100 gold skulltulas of the game. Um, these will give us some rewards later, but there's not really much of an immediate payoff. And we can't get to that door because of a web. So... Yeah, you can roll into the box. Oh, hey, a rupee. That's nice. So now we climb up. I don't think we're... I don't know if we're going to get through this entire dungeon in this video. Mostly because I'm trying to remember how the Master Quest dungeons work. Just another shriveled up. Hi, Keys. Come here, Keys. Ugh, time your sword swing just right. Yeah, some enemies will drop three. Oh god. This is the other thing I was looking for. Aw, you dropped it! You little bastard, I wanted that. I'm not gonna kill you while you're stiff, I'm gonna wait for you to... Hey! I finally got the Deku Nuts! These are neat little items, um... That when you use them, it will stun enemies. Now, before we go on, there's one more thing we need to get. And we use this switch to activate that torch. Don't activate the torch when the keys is on it. You can open a door by standing in front of it and pressing A. Pay attention to what the action icon says. That's the green icon at the top of the screen. I've mentioned this already. Yeah, but don't activate that door when the keys is on it. Or else you'll have a fire key, and he can burn away your shield. And that's just bad news bears. Oh boy, this room. Yeah, if you attack those eggs before they have a chance to hatch, you won't have to deal with the Goma.
Dead Goma. One jump attack or two regular slices. If you're gonna jump attack, wait for it to do its attack and then you do yours. Man, we're just getting Deku nuts up the wazoo. I was gonna say, I hope one of those pieces of grass holds a recovery heart. Oh yeah, sometimes if you if you're too close to the enemy when you do a jump attack, Link will hurt himself doing it. So a short range area. A couple quick sword swings. I thought there was one more. Oh yeah, if you if when you jump down from a ledge, if you press up you will automatically roll. Yeah, when you're locked on something and it on a or yeah, on the action icon when you're locked onto an enemy it'll say jump and then that's what Yeah, what I'm trying to say. Lock onto something when you got your sword up. And it'll yeah. Do that. So now come up here. Switch. You will obey me since I stepped on you. So jump. Jump. And we found another important item. We got a slingshot. So now we have a range weapon. And you set it to a C stick and use that C direction to take it out and hold it. Aim with the D pad and release to shoot. And if you want to shoot right away, hold down a little longer to get a seed ready. And it's nice because it gives us a full seed pouch already. So you see, just quickly press it and you will pull it out. And then if you press and hold, It'll already pull it out for you. So that's nice. Let's see if we can find anything in these. Yeah, we found a couple of rupees. That's nice. Oh god. Fire keys. Oh no, wait a minute. Nope, not happening. And now, jump straight down. Oh god. Oh god, Navi. Shut the fuck up. Oh, wait a minute. So now that we've got this. We can kill this, we can kill the Skowalchula there, like so. Oh, and we get some Deku Seeds, which is the ammo for our, um, Slingshot. Because apparently remembering names of weapons is not my specialty today. Don't like you, Egg. Go away. So now, what we need to do... Is take the ridiculously long climb... Up... Over... Jump 
jump down into the middle, and we break through to the second half of the dungeon. If I could find some health, that'd be nice. <clears throat> well, I would like to say that I think we're... Are we going to end it off here? We still got some more puzzles to do. I think we'll be fine. So that gives us that for a little bit. Yep. Do not like you, my good sir. Something else about Master Quest. Look at that big mother over there. Um, that switch there just gives us, I believe, some rupees. Let's find out. Now, see, if you leave that out for too long, it'll burn up, so that's why you press put away. Small chest drops over there. When I said I was going to try and show off all the secrets, guys, I meant everything. Oh, you respawn. Oh god, wrong button. Hey, we got a blue rupee, that's nice. Rupees are good for stuff later. <clears throat> oh jeez, this room. Trying to do something here. There we go. <clears throat> I want you to go back in your little hidey hole. Come on, Deku Scrub. Actually, this is a mad scrub variant. So we kill the enemies, and we get to move forward. Yeah, I find it easier to kill the Goma eggs. So that way you don't have to put up with them later. Yay, recovery hearts. That's just what I needed. Okay, now to continue forward, what we need to do is we need to kill this thing. Get a stick out. Put you there. Put you away so I don't waste a stick. Like both torches, like that. to the other side. What do you have? You have recovery heart. Okay. Rupees. Rupees are nice.
wrong with the right stick of my controller. So I'm not particularly thrilled with having to use the D-pad as my cease buttons. So I'll be back when I kill this thing. That didn't take too long. So this next part is where it gets tricky. What I basically need to do, step on the switch. This puzzle's a bit tricky. And then you duck under that. And we're gonna put you away. We're gonna kill the Skulltula. Come on, Skulltula, turn around for me. That's a cheap way to get at it, by the way. Target it and move over to the side. Oh shit, that's right, those torches are timed! This whole puzzle here is about timing. So... Wait for that. Crouch, young Link. And let's see if we can still save the stick. Yep, we still saved it. That's good. Because, oh, by the way, the Deku sticks make great weapons for when you're younger. an easy puzzle again. Oh god, except for the ones on the ceiling. This is where I said jumping around would come in handy. Oh god. Two for one! Actually, three for one. Oh, that was great! Did you guys see that? And there's a key sitting here somewhere. Master Sniper Rockhawk 64 does it again. I would like those recovery hearts. Let's see if we can snipe all these guys out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, this episode will be kind of long because dungeon. And you, Mr. Keys. this guy and boom and we'll enter this hole crawl through and we're on the other side damn you business scrub let his nut hit him and he'll sell you stuff and then if you decline, he'll just go away. Let's see what he's selling. By the way, they're usually a ripoff. He'll sell us a Deku shield. 50 rupees! No fucking way! I'm going home then! This is where Deku Nuts come in handy. Dealing with those bastards. Listen. Oh, stay next to this block and grab hold of it with A. While holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing forward towards pressing the C st the bleh, well, yeah, we can climb by walking towards it. We don't, Abby, we know. This whole dungeon is her. Hey, pay attention to the action icon! Pay attention to the action icon! Pay attention to the action icon! Shut up, you dumb bitch! In case you didn't tell, I... You, I really don't care for Navi. Oh god. I need health. Health? Yay, health. Oh, another thing. If you jump off, if you press B when you're flying through the air through a ledge, Link will automatically go into a jump attack. Now, here's the puzzle to this. Gotta jump to that. Climb up this. Up here. Target. And jump attack. We lost a Deku stick in the process, but... Now, here's the guys you gotta hit in the right order. I'll cut to when I have the order. It's two, three, one. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to change the order up on you on Master Quest. Is it three, one, two? Yes, it is. Did you know our secret? How we are dating? It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the code de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Yeah, the order on there is 312. Because if you remember, 23 is number one. Middle, then the one on the right, then the one on the left. On this one, it's right, left, middle. 
And we're cutting into a little more than half an hour, but I wanted to go ahead and get this dungeon out of the way, so. Yeah, this second episode is going to be really long because we're going to have this first dungeon and then all the stuff after. Ugh! We're locked in. Go to first person. Focus on the eye and... <gasps> Here she is. Parasitic armored arachnid. Goma. When her eyes red, strike with your boomerang. And then she's gonna drop babies down. So just kill the eggs. And then just hit her repeatedly with your sword! And then her eye will strike red- her eye will give- it will turn red when she's on the ceiling. And Queen Goma is dead. Easy boss. This will probably be the second quickest boss fight in this entire game. Dun, 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 dun. And as always, defeating every boss nets us a heart container. Our maximum life energy is increased by one and will be fully healed. So now we leave the Deku Tree. Thanks for letting us visit your guts, Deku Tree. Well done, Brutus. Held that ass kinda long. It's almost kinda like I was some sort of wizard or something. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Yes, because we have to. It's a but thou must moment. Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Holy shit, it's the- it, it's evil hair man whose hair defies gravity. Look at this, it doesn't move at all. His cape moves, but his hair doesn't. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Ooh, pretty lights. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses depended Descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule, the Deku Tree cannot talk today. Din, the goddess of power. Nairu, the goddess of wisdom. Faror, the goddess of courage. Okay. Din! With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nairu! Poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Like double suns? <laughs> and partial suns? I love ROM glitches sometimes. Faror! 
with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. I love how they never change their position once the entire time. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. And golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. So, trigonometry? Eh, <laughs> trigonometry. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to, sl to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Brutus, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. Da, da. I love this music. Koji Kondo is so amazing. We got the Kokiri's Emerald. It's the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to us by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Brutus. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help Brutus to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good bye. And so the Deku tree is dead. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Brutus. <coughs> Goodbye, great Deku tree. So, the Deku Tree's dead. We're back in Kokiri Forest. So we'll end this episode off. So, guys, this has been Rock Hawk 64 This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. I do apologize for this long episode. Uh, so, just remember, guys, to have fun with life and enjoy it, too. I will catch you all next episode. Until then, peace out.